The following is an instructional video designed to provide new soldiers of the 3rd U.S. Infantry Regiment, the Old Guard, with an example of how to properly execute voice in the ceremonial certification testing process. All candidates are required to test this portion. Task. Conduct a voice test for ceremonial certification. Condition. Given a candidate in ceremonial uniform with appropriate equipment, a drum beat, and a ceremonially certified sponsor. Standard. The candidate must score a minimum of 80%, 19 out of 23, to receive a go. If a candidate scores below 80%, he or she will receive a no-go and have to retest at a later date. Each minor performance measure will be tested three times. To receive a go for a minor performance measure, the candidate must perform it correctly two of three times. Each command must be given with adequate volume, with respect to outdoor, indoor ceremonies and memorial affairs in order to receive a go. The candidate must pass four of four major performance measures on all tests. Candidates that fail a major performance measure will immediately receive a no-go and have to test at a later date. Condolences must be given verbatim. All performance measures must be conducted in accordance with TC 3-21.5, January 2012, and TOG Sword and Saber Certification Handbook. This is the grade sheet that will be used to assess each candidate's performance. The four major performance measures are Uniform Ceremonial Composure No distracting movements while giving commands Condolences The minor performance measures will be discussed throughout the remainder of the video. The candidate will stand at the position of attention with sword and saber drawn in the carry position. The grader will give the command in a normal voice for the candidate to repeat to standard three times. Each word will be shown on screen with the same throughout the entirety of a phrase. A hyphen represents a short break or separation in the word which will be replicated in this video. A comma represents a pause. Letters or words in bold are meant to be emphasized by the candidate. The term countman refers to the individual in the formation who echoes the command or preparatory phrase to the formation. The countman is not present during the testing and it is required of the candidate to allow the countman's portion to be said. For purposes of this video, each command will only be said once by the candidate followed by a list of common errors for that phrase. If you are struggling with a particular word or words, please go to the individual phrases video which each phrase will be placed on repeat. Present arms. Common mistakes include not saying Z in present, not emphasizing T, saying harms, not saying the A or S in arms, rushing the count man. Present arms. Order arms. Common mistakes include not lengthening the OR in order, saying harms, not saying the A or S in arms. Rushing the count man. Order arms. Parade rest. Common mistakes include not saying pa with a small break in parade, not saying the D in parade, not saying the T in rest. Rushing the count man. Pa raid rest. Old guard attention from parade rest. Common mistakes include mixing up old guard and old guard, not emphasizing chun and attention, rushing the count man. Old guard attention. Ceremonial at ease. Common mistakes include not breaking up Sarah and monial, not emphasizing ease, rushing the count man. Ceremonial. At ease! Old Guard attention from ceremonial. Common mistakes include mixing up Old Guard and Old Guard, not emphasizing Chun and attention, rushing the count man. Old Guard attention! Eyes right. The grader will pick up a mark time to allow the candidate to call eyes on the left foot followed by a dead step on the next left foot, concluding with right called on the third left foot of the grader. Common mistakes include not allowing the dead step, not saying the T in right, rushing the count man, calling on the wrong foot. Eyes right! 
Dress right, stand by, dress. The first dress is held out, but not to an egregious extent. Common mistakes include not emphasizing dr in dress, having the first dress be too long or too short, not emphasizing the t in right, saying and not mouthing stand by, not enunciating dr and s in the second dress. Dress right. Ready front. Common mistakes include not emphasizing the T in front, pausing between ready and front. Ready front. Right shoulder arms. Common mistakes include not emphasizing the T in right, not separating shoul and der in shoulder, not emphasizing the der in shoulder, saying harms, not saying the A or S in arms. Rushing the count man. Right shoulder, arms. Right face. Common mistakes include not emphasizing the T in right, not emphasizing F in face. Rushing the count man. Right face. Left face. Common mistakes include not emphasizing the T in left, not emphasizing F in face. Rushing the count man. Left face. About face. Common mistakes include not saying a、uh、in about, not emphasizing the t in about, not emphasizing f in face. Rushing the count man. About face. Port arms. Common mistakes include not emphasizing t in port, saying harms. Not saying the A or S in arms, rushing the count man. Port arms. Firing party. Fire three volleys. Common mistakes include saying the phrase too fast or too slow. Firing party. Fire three volleys. Forward march. The grader will pick up a mark time to allow the candidate to call forward on the left foot, followed by dead step on the next left foot. Concluding with march called on the third left foot of the grader. Common mistakes include not saying for in the word word and forward, not allowing the dead step, calling the command on the wrong foot, not emphasizing the ch in march, rushing the count man. Forward march. Right flank march. The grader will pick up a mark time to allow the candidate to call right on the right foot. Followed by flank on the left foot, concluding with march called on the second right foot of the grader. Common mistakes include not emphasizing t and right, calling the command on the wrong foot, not saying the ch and march, not separating each word. Right flank march. Left flank march. The grader will pick up a mark time to allow the candidate to call left on the left foot, followed by flank on the right foot. Concluding with march called on the second left foot of the grader. Common mistakes include not emphasizing t in left, calling the command on the wrong foot, not saying the ch in march, not separating each word. Left flank march. Rear march. The grader will pick up a mark time to allow the candidate to call rear on the right foot, followed by march called on the next right foot of the grader. Common mistakes include. Not emphasizing R in rear, calling the command on the wrong foot, not emphasizing ch in march. Rear march. Mark time march. The grader will pick up a mark time to allow the candidate to call mark time on the left foot, followed by march called on the next left foot of the grader. Common mistakes include not emphasizing t in time, calling the command on the wrong foot, separating mark and time, not emphasizing ch. And march. Mark time. March. Change step. March. The grader will pick up a mark time to allow the candidate to call change on the right foot, followed by step on the left foot, concluding with march called on the second right foot of the grader. Common mistakes include not emphasizing ch and change, calling the command on the wrong foot, rushing each word, not emphasizing ch 
and march. Change, step, march! Ready, step. The grader will pick up a mark time to allow the candidate to call ready on the left foot, followed by step called on the next left foot of the grader. Common mistakes include calling the command on the wrong foot, rushing each word, not emphasizing P in step. Ready, step! Honor guard, halt. The announcer will pick up a mark time to allow the candidate to call honor guard on the left foot, followed by halt called on the next left foot of the grader. Common mistakes include calling the command on the wrong foot, rushing each word. Honor guard, halt! At the conclusion of the voice test, each candidate will be brought in and asked to give condolences. The candidate will simulate holding a folded flag, look the grader in the eyes, and speak in a sincere tone of voice. At the conclusion of the condolences, the candidate will render a three-count salute, hold for three seconds, and then lower their salute. Condolences must be verbatim. Sir, on behalf of the President of the United States, the United States Army, and a grateful nation, please accept this flag as a symbol of our appreciation for your loved one's honorable and faithful service. Upon completing this test, candidates will move to Standing Manual, which is part three of this instructional series. For any questions on this event, speak with your sponsor or your ceremonies and special events team.